Say hey everybody, Golfhouse here, and welcome back to the Diamond Dash. You may notice I'm not in the desert anymore, and I'm missing some things, like armor and weapons. And if I get out of F5 mode, you'll see a chest. I'm back at 0-0. Zero, zero. Why am I back at 0-0? Zero, zero? Well, I would love to show you the uh, the episode in which I uh, I made it back to zero zero but I recorded the entire thing over an hour's worth of footage with the wrong microphone selected I'm I'm an idiot so what I'm gonna show you is a real quick video uh, video recap of how uh, episode 3 was supposed to go and how we got to this point. So some of the highlights of what was going to be episode 3. We found a ravine that peered into a mine shaft. Against our better judgment, we dug down to that mine shaft. And we found diamonds. And we found diamonds again. And we dug our way up to the surface, only to find it was night. We took an incredible amount of stupid, stupid suffocation damage. We then took fall damage. And we took fall damage again. And we finally made it to zero, zero dropped off our diamonds, and got rid of all of our stuff. So with one dash complete, that's pretty much where we stand now. We are at zero, zero. We have four diamonds in the chest, and we're down five and a half hearts. So there's really nothing else to do except to uh, do it all over again. So let's go ahead and get our spread players command set up and ready to go. Let's see, I think I need a true and I need a golf house. And let's see where we end up this time. As before, it's taking a fair amount of time. Okay, so it didn't take us that long to get spread out, so we're probably not as far away from zero, zero as we were beforehand, but this does look like unfamiliar territory. We did not see uh, ocean like this before. There's some dogs up there. I don't know that that will be particularly helpful for us, especially because we don't have any bones yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some tree punching and get all of the kind of basic stuff taken care of. And uh, I think this might be a good time to do some fast stuff. <laughs> Okay, so we've gotten things started off a little bit. We've got our full complement of stone tools. We've got a couple of things here that we don't really need. This uh, wooden pickaxe and this birch sapling. We'll use those as fuel down the road a ways. And uh, yes, and we've also got four apples. We've got plenty, well, I don't want to say plenty, but we've got enough food at least to get us through the night. But now I think our next adventure, or our next task in this adventure, 
is to do exactly this, to find a bunch of iron and get ourselves kind of armored up. But then we also need to find gold. And we need to find a lot of it. We've got four apples, so we have enough uh, we have enough food there to really warrant us collecting 32 pieces of gold. And um, with our health down as much as uh, as much as it is, we can use every single one of those uh, of those health bits. The uh, the sounds of the spiders are around. I don't know. I think we're still way too uh, way too far uh, way too far up to think that's a cave. In fact, I think I can hear the him up there. So we're just gonna keep digging down until we find something. Okay, so we have found ourselves a cave. We don't have any armor yet. I have four pieces of iron. I can probably go ahead and get that smelting up here. Um, but we're not going to get very far with that. In fact, really, that's going to get us either a sword or it's going to get us a pair of boots. I think I'm going to go with the boots just because we do have a stone sword even though it's not that exciting. So uh, let me go ahead and get these smelted up and then we'll see what we can find in that cave down there. The cave opens up in that direction. Let's see what we can find in this direction. I'm a little nervous about getting too exposed when all I have is boots. Um, we are hearing zombies. We are also hearing skeletons, which is good in the sense that we need that stuff, but I just don't know that we are quite ready to take them on yet. see what we can see get a torch down now there is iron back that way but I don't know where anything is to uh, to kill it before we go and pluck all that out so let's kind of snake our way around this uh, this curve here in the cave in the cave I I need to not do that. Digging straight up got me in a heap of trouble in the last episode. In fact, that uh, that digging up is the main reason why gold is such a high priority here. Does he see me? He doesn't see me. I kind of... Okay. He saw me that time. Okay, so he's moving on. Can we get his attention over here? I would like to get him to at least see me, but not with enough time for him to actually do anything about it. see a whole lot. Okay, we know that there's a skeleton over there, so let's kind of block that off a bit. I hear water. More iron, we need that. More coal, we need that too. Let's kind of follow this around, see where it takes us. Okay, and it's going to open up a bit more here, so let's go ahead and kind of seal this off. 
we will come back to this. But I think right now we need to go ahead and get this coal and this iron and uh, take this back up top and see what we can get. Let's go ahead and see how much iron we've got. We've got four iron. We've got six iron. Okay, so that's enough to get us a helmet. Let's go ahead and do that before we advance too far down this cave. There's that skeleton again. I'd really like to get him out of the equation. But let's go ahead and smelt up this iron first before we do anything too crazy. Okay, so that's where we are now. We've got a helmet and we've got boots. It's still not a terrific uh, lineup of armor, but it should be enough to uh, provide us some protection as we come down here and go investigating. This cave does kind of dip down a little bit, which is good. Hearing another zombie. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more light in uh, in this cave while we mine up some of this coal. I'm still kind of in that old frame of mind where we had plenty of coal and uh, didn't really have to worry about it so much. But of course we had to give all of that up when we decided to take those diamonds back to zero zero. Overall, I was kind of satisfied with the way that the uh, with the way that the first dash worked out, except for the uh, the stupid fall damage. I'm not even sure if we took any damage from critters. I think all of our damage came from me just being kind of dumb, and uh, that's going to be something that we really, really need to work on if we're going to be successful in this kind of uh, UHC business. Okay, so this kind of just wraps around a little bit. There's some iron there, and it looks like we're going up. That's kind of the, the wrong direction, but maybe this will loop back on itself? No, that just takes us back up. I think that's the beach. I don't think that's a desert area, um, just because we didn't see anything like that on the map previously. Let's go ahead and refill our torches. This looks like it's just going to be the one piece of iron, isn't it? Anything? Anything? No, there's some up here, though. Let's stand back when we collect this. Okay, there's a fair amount of iron. Not much, but enough. And it continues. That's good. I think our cave here is mostly safe. Okay, nine. It's going to give us ten pieces of iron. That's going to be enough for a chest plate, and we can go ahead and upgrade our sword. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any iron. I hear a spider over there, but we are pretty high up. Um, so I think we've pretty much tapped out this part of the cave. Let's go back up to the, uh, to the top side. We'll collect all this coal on the way because we won't be coming back here and uh, get this iron smelted up get ourselves a little bit better armed and then we'll take on the, uh, the part of this cave that we blocked off earlier <laughs> Do 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 do
Okay, so as you saw there, while the iron was smelting, we went ahead and did a little bit of exploration, got one more piece of, uh, piece of pork here. We'll go ahead and torch up this birch sapling to make it. And we'll go ahead and we will upgrade our sword. All right. Did that not... Was that not enough material to, uh, to cook that beef? I guess not. Wow. Those, uh, those saplings don't provide much in the way of, uh, in the way of heat, do they? Okay. Anyway, we're back up to, uh, we're back up to five pork chops. We've got everything on but pants. I guess if you're going to be missing something, pants is probably what you want to be missing. Okay, the, uh, the zombie has spotted us. Let's come down here. And where did we... Let's see, if we come over here. We should be able to get his attention. Where were you, buddy? There you are. Come on over. Okay, there's another one coming. I thought I heard more than that. Let's torch here. Oh, there's a creeper. Come on, buddy. Okay, well, I didn't get away fast enough, but no damage, so no, no real harm done there. Let's. Okay, this opens up quite a bit. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's kind of open this up a bit. I don't think this goes much. F well, nope, it does open up a bit, and it's going down. The rest of that looked like it was going in an upward direction which is not optimal. Okay, so this is a dead end. We've got a little bit more iron. We do still need iron. We've got to make uh, an iron pick, and we also need pants. So we are not out of the woods when it comes to the iron collection yet. We hear zombies, but that's to be expected with a cave this size. I really don't like how this is so open here. Um, let's go this way. There's a creeper. There's a spider out there somewhere. Another creeper. And a zombie. Let's... Nope, nope, nope. Okay. We managed to get away from that. That was not optimal. We blew up our torch. And there are a huge number of zombies coming, which has me thinking maybe there's a spawner up here because they just keep coming. Okay, let's block off this access point if they're going to be coming like that too. We have to be real careful here. We'll block these off because of the baby zombie presence. Okay, there's a spider over there. He's going to come through. That's fine. A couple pieces of string. That's good. We'll need a bow at some point. We don't have any feathers yet. So, uh... We're a little behind the times there, but it looks like we now have all of the iron that we need to get fully armed. I'm not going to go back just yet. Maybe that's a mistake. Engaging that creeper is probably a mistake, but we're going to do it anyway. Witch. Engaging that witch is definitely a mistake that we are not going to make. Oh! 
is that wow <laughs> that that was awful but it has paid dividends let's go ahead and take this man i uh <laughs> i didn't exactly nail that did i but all is well that ends well we are in a much better position that uh That kind of did the trick for us. Now I feel a little bit better about coming out here and doing a bit more exploring. This cave opens up a lot and I think it continues this way. Yes, we've got another creeper. Whew. The uh, the blood pressure is still up pretty high from uh, engaging that witch. But now we have, oh, well, no, we only have two pieces of string. I thought we got more string out of that, uh, out of that first spider than we did. Okay, well, tell you what, that's enough, uh, that's enough excitement for right now. Let's, let's collect some iron, do some more boring stuff. Just collect some resources. This should be enough iron to uh, to get us going. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of fast work to get all this up out of the ground, and then we'll see where we stand. Okay, so I don't really know how my uh, how my editing is going to go, but I think I'm going to time lapse that because I managed well not time lapse it, but time skip it. Uh, because I managed to get myself incredibly lost in this cave, which might mean that it's a uh, that is a good time to maybe find another cave, just because that one was so open and so windy um, that it, uh, <laughs> it was real easy to get lost. Although it does look like it's going down at a rate of speed that's going to be worth it for us, because we do still need gold. That health potion was a big help to us. We're now only down three and a half. Um, but I don't want to get too far down into the cave system without getting more food. We only have four pork chops left. And, um, you know, I could always go to eating the apples, but let's let's face it, we're, we're, we're not doing that. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to split up this iron and get it cooking a little bit faster. And then I think what we're going to do is, uh, well, let's do a daylight check before I make any brash decisions. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, it is just turning day. So that's probably as good a time as any to get, uh, get back over ground. We can go ahead and we can make ourselves some pants. I think, yeah, that gets us fully armored. Let's go ahead and upgrade our uh, our pickaxe situation here. Put that there for right now. Let's put that up here for right now. We we have plenty of plenty of pickaxe left, and I'll tell you what. I am actually going to collect the rest of this, and uh, we're gonna get. We're gonna get moving. I'm gonna leave this cave behind, even though it is going down uh, fast enough to be worth our while. We aren't quite there with food yet, so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, go back into fast mode, and we're gonna kind of wander around and collect some more food. Um, there is a jungle over there. I don't know if that's the same jungle that we were in previously in the last dash. Um, there's really no way for us to know that um, unless we happen to come across some cobble or something else that we may have laid down um, previously. At, that ra at any rate though, jungle is not what I want. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to try to gather some more food and um, I'll see you hopefully when we're a little bit better fed. Okay, well the sun is going down and we did not get 
any apples out of this tree it looks like. We did find a cave over here that looks pretty promising. It, it, goes, down, uh, it goes down steep and it goes down fast. So I think what we're going to do is uh, explore this a little bit. Our food situation is much improved. Um, and now we've actually got maybe a little bit too much stuff um, in, the, uh, in the old inventory here. But let's go ahead. I'm just going to kind of take this down a little bit so that we're pretty far underground before the sun sets. And hopefully that will put us in a decent position to start. This opens up pretty wide, so I'm actually going to dig down this way and kind of hide because we've got a lot of smelting to do. Um, I'm going to go down one more level and then we will block this off for safety reasons. And then we're just going to kind of dig ourselves a little hole here and uh, establish a bit of a new base of operations for this cave. So I'm going to come through and we will furnace ourselves up. Put this chicken in. And we've got a bit more beef. Not that keen on having all that uh, variety in my food options, but what are you going to do? Um, I, you know what, I also need to get rid of... Uh, of this birch wood because it's just cluttering up the inventory. Now one thing that you probably saw in one of the time lapses, we did manage to uh, get more string than I thought we had originally, but now I'm out of sticks. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Actually I'm going to need quite a few here because now that we have this, that do, I did not do that right. I don't know what it is about me that I just cannot get that recipe right. Okay, so we've got that, we've got some flint, and we've got some feathers, and we've got some sticks. Okay, so we have 12 arrows, we've also still got 19 gravel. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. When we come back, uh, this food will be cooked up, I will have uh, I've well, gone through this gravel and gotten a bit more flint so that our arrow situation is better. And hopefully we will be in a good position to go hunting for gold. We managed to come down quite a bit from the top there. I don't think we're quite low enough yet to find gold, but, um, but we're definitely going to be making some progress. So I hope you've liked this episode. Again, I apologize for the derpiness um, of me finding the diamonds and doing all of that super exciting stuff without recording the audio. We'll, we'll do better about that in the future. Um, but anyway, if you've liked this episode, go ahead and click that like button. And if you've really liked it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you like me and my derpy ways make you feel a little bit better about your Minecraft skills, Go ahead and stop me on social media. I'm darn near everywhere. I'm going to eat a pork chop. And until next time, my name is Golf House. This has been the Diamond Dash. We'll see you next time.